Mercury, the smallest and least explored planet in our solar system, and its origin has intrigued scientists for years. Yes, this uh, is the moment the probes known as Bepi Colombo set off in the early hours on a seven-year quest to discover more about the swift planet. Now, it's the first European mission of its kind, and planetary scientist Susie Imber was at the launch. Joins us now from French Guyana. Uh, lovely to talk to you, Susie. I mean, how exciting was that launch? Tell us about it. Well, the launch was absolutely incredible. I think what made it even more powerful was that it was a night launch. So as we looked out only seven kilometers away from the launch itself, it literally looked as though the sun was rising as this rocket powered into the sky. It was just incredible. Tell us why this is an important mission. Why? What can Mercury bring us in terms of knowledge? There's two aspects, I think, that, that we want to focus on. One is about the structure and evolution of the planet itself. So how did it form um, and how has it evolved over time? And we're going to address this by studying the magnetic field, the surface and the tenuous atmosphere of Mercury. Um, and Mercury is an anomaly in our solar system, so it's really important to try to understand how it formed and evolved. Um, but the other thing we can do is we're interested in looking at Mercury's dynamics because it's close to the sun uh, and it experiences extreme space weather events, uh, analogous to those we see at the Earth but on, on a much stronger scale. So we're trying to understand the physics of Mercury's interaction with the sun as well. What do you mean it's an anomaly in the solar system? Well, Mercury's a really dense planet. Uh, it's mostly composed of its huge iron core. Uh, and at the moment, we can't really explain how Mercury formed this massive iron core so, as, as it forms so close to the sun. So um, it seems to have a surface that um, has a lot of volatiles, but doesn't seem to have much metal. So really lots of questions uh, about Mercury as a planet. Let's talk about the challenges, Susie, or would you tell us about the challenges of getting an aircraft onto the planet? So I was just looking at some of the facts and figures, and I do enjoy these. So it's 58 million kilometres from the sun, but we've got temperatures, or it has temperatures there, of more than 400 degrees Celsius. However, it has two icy poles. How does that work? Yes, exactly. So one of the main engineering challenges is to overcome the temperatures on Mercury. One side of the planet, as you mentioned, is well over 400 degrees Celsius. The other side is at minus 180 degrees. And as our spacecraft orbits, it goes from one to the other, one to the other in a few tens of minutes. So um, that's a massive constraint for us. Um, in terms of the ice, yeah, this is an um, incredible discovery that was made recently. Um, we found that buried deep in craters near the poles of the planet, there is solid water ice, which is extremely surprising given the temperatures on Mercury. So let's talk about exactly what happens over the next seven years. It takes seven years for this um, craft to get there. What happens on the way? Will we get data while it's on its way there? And what happens once it gets there? Well, actually, what we launched today was sort of four pieces. We launched the Mercury transfer module. The goal of that is to get the spacecraft to Mercury. Then we have our two spacecraft that are launched together combined with a sun shield. Now, it's a seven-year journey. And so first we'll fly past the Earth, and then we'll fly past Venus twice, and then past Mercury six times before we finally get captured uh, into orbit around Mercury. So it's a really long journey uh, for us. Um, some of our instruments will be switched on. So the magnetic field instrument, for example, will be deployed uh, in about a week and will be switched on for the entire duration. Other instruments, like the one that we built uh, at the university, will not be switched on until we arrive. Oh, I think it's fascinating. Susie, thank you so much for talking to us. I'm glad you got to see that launch. And I can see you just jumping up and down in your seat. You're still excited. It's brilliant. Thank yeah. you so much. Susie <laughs> Inver, their mission scientist, talking to us from French Guyana.